Hi guys, this is Sumit K. In this video, we will talk about how to use network endpoint group uh, with the serverless uh, machine or serverless engine. So here we are going to use serverless network endpoint group. In my last video, we have covered um, how to deploy or how to create an internet energy. And we have also seen the demo. So this energy is different from all other energies uh, because we are going to now target our uh, serverless uh, uh, serverless engine it could be a cloud run it could be a, a cloud function it could be an app engine so the approach is going to be same i mean the load balancer on on your left hand side on this on this picture is going to be same and uh, the only thing which is uh, which is going to change here is the network endpoint so instead of internet uh, energy or journal energy we are now going to select the serverless energy and uh, your target uh, uh, target in, uh, target engine can be uh, can be a cloud run cloud function or anything so you can use this uh, serverless energy with the classic load, load balancer or, uh, or maybe a global load balancer or regional load balancer so to understand this let's quickly uh, uh, jump onto my console and see the demo then you will be better understand so for so here i'm going to uh, you know uh, going to deploy this demo with the uh, cloud run first so i already deployed a cloud run here so if you don't know how to deploy the cloud run uh, it's very simple just go to the create service uh, first go to the cloud run and then create service so cloud run is basically uh, used to deploy your containers right so it whenever you create a service it, it uh, at the back end it creates the container so if you don't know what container image uh, you simply check uh, click on the test with the sample container and this the, the google cloud automatically uh, you know po populate this container image url and the service name is going to be hello url hello and this reason is you can select as per your uh, uh, as per your reason so i selected it uh, mumbai uh, where it is belgium of oh, this one and then here you can just select the allow authenticated unauthenticated invocation and then create it so i already i already created it so you don't need to i don't need to create it again so if i just click on the hello and if i just click on this url after after the creation is completed you will get this url and just if you click on this url your application it says it is running congratulations you have successfully deployed the container image into the cloud run and this is your uh, the uh, the revision and the uh, cloud run service and this is the reason and this is the project right so now i want to i want to uh, make this cloud run behind the load balancer using the network endpoint group so what i'm going to do i'm going i'll go to the load balancing just a second Okay, so I'm creating the load balancer. I'm creating this classic application load balancer, or maybe I just choose uh, regional. Regional is fine. So I'm going to make it ELB. I'm going to choose my region. Network. I'm going to select it uh, as of now. I'm going to select it default. I think proxy is already there, uh, but let me. Just make it proxy Mumbai n.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So once my load balancer gets deployed, I would be able to see this screen similar to that. Similar this same, same screen, I will see when I hit my load balancer. So it is going to take a few seconds, a few minutes, I guess. So I'm going to pause my stop my screen sharing. All right. So my load balancer has been deployed. Uh, this is an external load balancer, regional load balancer. So it took two minutes to deploy it. Now, if I click on to my load balancer and I grab the public IP of this load balancer, and if I try to hit this load balancer, you should be able to access that. See, your now traffic is redirecting uh, via the serverless network endpoint group to your cloud run, right? So next last item, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to uh, make it internal, this ingress control, and we need to select the allow traffic from the external application load balance. I don't want my cloud run service to be directly exposed. So that's why I'm, I'm checking this option. So now if you, if you try to hit this direct URL, it should not work. See, this should not work, but you are uh, uh, from the load balancer. It is still fine. So this is what, uh, how the serverless network endpoint group is configured for the for the for the cloud run now let's see if i so uh, if you want to configure a cloud function similar to the cloud run you can you can create your uh, function like this so i have created two functions i'm not going to implement it in this demo but you can configure it um, uh, you can deploy your flood cloud function in uh, in asia south one on any reason and uh, simply go to the uh, we go to the load balancer and here what you can do uh, please make sure that you don't need to select uh, the uh, regional load balancer this time uh because the regional load balancer doesn't work with the cloud function so this time you need to select with the classic load balancer which i have already deployed right so i'm not going to show you the demo uh just see the configuration here the main uh the main configuration is is in the backend service so here in the backend service uh once you you know add the backend and once you create this uh, serverless backend service you will see these three options so even you can use the cloud run with the classic load balancer so you'll see cloud function and app engine so go ahead and uh, and try to deploy this uh, uh, this uh, task for you you can deploy this uh, uh, this cloud function behind the load balancer it's pretty easy and let me know in the comment section if you are facing any issues i'm i will be happy to help you out all right so uh, that's it for demo um, in uh, in next video i'm going to show you the private service connect what is private service connect and how private service connect is useful to uh, to you know expose your service from one project to another project and you don't need to create the pairing uh, between these two two networks so you only want to expose um, the service that that, that is uh, consumable uh, by the projects or by the clients or you can also you know use the uh, google apis uh, that you don't need to hop over to the internet uh, using the, the private so, uh, private service connect you can uh, connect uh, your google apis like uh, uh, you know the cloud sql or maybe the storage the cloud storage uh, within the google internal network so we will cover this this demo in details in my upcoming videos so all right so uh, that, that's it uh, if you have any question feel free to let me know and please uh, subscribe my channel like my channel and share it with the others thank you have a great day